The Highlanders performed the great escape of a lifetime last week, taking out the Blues for the second time this season and staying up there as the only undefeated side in this year's Super Rugby competition. Now the real game starts. They're off to the Republic of South Africa to face the Lions in their first of their two tour matches before they head back for the final game of the season. They face the Lions here and this is going to be a real test of this Highlanders outfit. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Highlanders career where we are just about through another season. Just a few rounds remain here and of course, like we've been saying all season, the real test here is whether the Highlanders can keep up the high standard before they head to South Africa. This is the big test for all the sides coming to South Africa or leaving South Africa for the South African sides to go to New Zealand and Australia. This is a tester for them. It is such a different atmosphere, such a different stadium and such a different feel to everything that they're used to back home. The Lions will be more accustomed to it, but they're having a shocking season. They are bottom in the South African Conference. They have one win and 12 losses, just six points so far in their competition. They haven't played a match for a couple of weeks. They've had a bye, and then, of course, there was an international window as well, which seen the Bulls, uh, the Lions, not play since they played the Bulls about three rounds ago, and they lost at that stage 45-15 to 15 as well. The week before that, they faced the Waratahs 43-9. They went down in that match, and they've had a real struggle season, the Lions, struggling to improve from where they were a few years ago. The Highlanders have got something really good flowing here. They've been the team to beat, and their team has been solid, consistent throughout most of the season. Once again, Falau will start at outside centre with the absence of Fikitoa, who's still away on international duty. And of course, last week, if you didn't tune into that match against the Blues, you should definitely check that out. 19-14, the final result, taking out the Auckland franchise and handing them only their second loss. The Highlanders, though, on the other hand, are undefeated for the first time, really, since we've taken over. They've gone this far undefeated, and they're looking to continue on through what could be a real challenge. They've never really nailed South Africa. They normally come away with good results, but they always struggle and have to really dig deep to get the points. How will they fare today against the lowly Lions? Let's tune in, check it out, find out. Kickoff is about to get underway. It'll be Robinson. He's really been building up this season. Is he going to save his great display for the playoffs once again? At this rate, the Highlanders may not need to play on the playoff. Robinson, the ref checks. He says, ready, and we are underway. The whistle goes. Highlanders kicking off in the blue. It is the Lions in the red and white. Release. And we are set to go already, and it's Brits who kicks away. First use of the ball there for the Lions, and Ben Smith has it at the back. He'll run around one, looks to come up, he gets taken down. Good tackle. No one really dedicating players at all to this ruck. The Lions are looking odds on to get this back. Great work here from the South Africans. They've got the ball, and Hayes swings it wide on, knocked on, and our forward dives on that one desperately. Ball here, Aaron Smith. The Highlanders have it through Robinson, and Robinson slips through, looks wide. Williams had to reach for it. He's still got it to Stowers, and Stowers puts on the burners, and Stowers will be in. Try number one, six minutes in the game. Well, that's what they do, the Highlanders. They turn the ball over, they pick up your mistakes, they intercept, and they attack. They attack hard, they attack fast. And they give it width, no problems. And then there's the acceleration. No chance for Brits at all. He was absolutely creamed there from Stowers. Didn't even need to turn on the fancy footwork. Robinson's pass was a bit dodgy. Williams made the most of it. And he really continued on. That try could have broke down there with that bad pass. But that's just how well these guys are playing together. Williams knew it, he held it, and he knew where Stowers was going to be. The initial bust from this man, and that's what he does. His kicking, not as good as some others. 
Sopawanga probably better from the tee as is Sexton who's sitting out completely most of the season but when it comes to on-field displays running with the ball in hand this man Robbie Robinson is second to none he's shown that already in the early stages of this match just eight minutes gone it's 7-0 the Highlanders the Lions will be hoping that this does not turn into another thumping Alexander he's held up a good tackle Holds up the prop. And Nasi Manu says, give me the ball. He's going to have a run. He finds Williams. Williams, oh, beautiful. All for it to Falau. Falau's reeking away. Oh, and he's got it to touch. Beautiful run, Falau. He's starting to look a bit better as he gets into his game. At that time, just not quite finishing it. And Hayes will throw in for the Lions. Chance to get some. Oh, no, they've lost it. Armitage finds it wide and Williams again involved. Big pass once again for Lau. This time he gets on the outside. Oh, and he's absolutely monstered from Joel. Huge tackle from the fullback. Ritalik finds Moen. Big ball. Williams. Oh, he's through. He's inside. No, he's popped it all. He's given it away. And the Lions escape. No, they don't because Alexander is intercepted again. Great run there from Binocchi when he stole it. But it's gone back and Stowers has it. He fires it wide. Falau, Falau. Oh, he's offloaded beautifully to Nasi Manu. And Manu will be in for try number two. Well, the Highlanders are looking so much better than this Lions side. They've come here before and they've struggled against the lowly teams like the Cheetahs have been, even though they've improved a lot this season. But they've really looked good here already. How did Falau get that ball away? He's really trying hard as Falau. Probably should have passed that a bit sooner, but he's really wanting to make an impact. Great run. Beat his man, who, in all fairness, was only a prop. But Nasi Manu showing great speed, getting around the outside of the fullback, Joel. And planting that ball in the corner, giving them the second try. And Robinson the chance to line up his second conversion. 20 minutes nearly up on the clock. Here's Robinson. Hits it nicely. And two more on the board. Great kick for Robinson. He's enjoying these conditions here at altitude in South Africa. 20 minutes gone, it's 14-0. Brits will kick off. We've hardly even mentioned any Lions players at all. Up it goes. Now we have to because De Natale's taken that brilliantly. And he's found it with Luke Lomu, who goes up to the 22 before going to ground. There's Mini. He's looking to force Release. his way through. And the Highlanders have driven straight over the top. And will steal this ball if it will come out. There it is. Robinson has it. And the little piece of resistance from the Lions quickly ends. As Osborne scampers away. Finds a ball of Falau. And Falau will get a try. His second in a couple of weeks. What a reward for him. Israel Falau finishes the job. 19-0. It's three tries to zip. We've seen very little here from the Lions. Israel Falau, well he's tried very hard he got on the end of that beautiful break from Osborne, still had Sonny Bill who wouldn't have minded giving his centre partner the try, Falau dots down and the Highlanders are looking so good right now this Lions team possibly could be yet they're so bad but one way or another, confidence should be sky high third try Ten up the bonus point already, the Highlanders. Robbie Robinson will line up another conversion. 26 minutes gone. Three tries. Conversion. Oh, that's an ugly one from Robinson. That's what we were talking about earlier. A bit erratic with the tee. Can nail them from everywhere. But can also miss them from everywhere, as we just saw it. Right out in front, shanks it to the left. Brits will get us back underway. The Highlanders 19-0. This is a bit of a hammering at the moment. 
Williams finds Robinson, who straight ends up and goes through the middle of a big hole. Just taken down a good break from Robinson. The Lions, though, turn him over and Hayes bulldozes over the top. Our follower just got squashed. The Lions looking for some ball, looking for some forward momentum from Di Natale. That's a good run and a good bust. The inside centre, Dalport. Release. Busts his way through. Goes a bit backwards in the end. Brits again. No way through there for him. And Osborne's picked it up. And Osborne runs away. Steps around the goal. And he's gone. Oh, so simple. So easy. The Lions worked hard for their ground. And they've lost it in an absolute flash. And concede the fourth try. And the Highlanders grab a bonus point. Well, how quickly did that happen from Patrick Osborne? Made the tackle. We don't even get to go back that far. Even though it was only 60 metres ago. Made the tackle, got up, stole the ball from the breakdown. You wouldn't have blamed the Lions from holding on in that ruck just because this could happen. Around the outside of Joel, put on the fancy step, and it will see you later. Patrick Osborne, boy, he's been in great form in recent weeks. The bonus point for the Highlanders. Massive extra point for them. And the fact that they're doing this in South Africa makes it all the more sweeter. Robinson again from right in front. Oh, he's done it again. How's he managed this, Robinson? Goodness gracious me, he's running nicely, but those first three kicks were beautiful. Now it's all turned to custard for him. And he's missed two in a row right out in front too. So disappointing kicking from Robinson, but his running has been very nice so far. Take one with the other, as once again it's knocked on this time. And it is the Lions who come away on the left side. Good passing in and out. Hayes has the ball. He finds support. Still going off the number eight. Luke Blomberg pops it inside for Hayes. And then just five metres short. What a chance here for the Lions. Buzzer goes. Can they get one before the break? Great run once again. Pack goes wide. Finds it for Delport. Delport's over. The Lions get some reward. They've got their first try. Delport just storming over in the tackle. And he's got some reward for the Lions who have seen very little ball. But a great play, great opportunity led from the kickoff. Hitting the man of speed. Falau did all he could. Experienced at fullback. He knows how to stop a man from getting over the line. But couldn't do it there. Valiant attempt. It's a beef got run right over the top of there from Minnie. And the Lions, well, they'll take heart from that. And here's a man we have not mentioned at all, Alton Yantes. Boy, he's a good player, but he has just been massively missing in action for the Lions. Here he comes with a conversion. Simple one for Yantes. And the Lions get seven, but they still trail by 17 points as we head to the Sheds for half time. And as the Highlanders leading the Lions 24 points to seven, half time. And you can tell by the stats very simply what's going on here. The Highlanders have got all the possession, they've got all the territory. Have the Lions, surprisingly, actually, I thought the Highlanders would have done a bit better on territory, but they got the possession 64%. They're down on territory, just 43, but it's line breaks. Look at that, 6-1 to one going to the Highlanders. Both sides making a nine, 19 tackles. And there's been three handling errors from the Highlanders, two from the Lions in that first half of rugby. The Highlanders will be buoyed after that first half, and they'll be wanting more points in the second if they can cook them up. The Lions will be wanting to bring back this game, make it a bit more respectable and a bit more of a contest if they can continue on from that vein they had at the end of the first half, it could be possible. Let's crack back down for kickoff. About to get underway. Second half, the Lions trailing the Highlanders 24 points to 7. Brits will get us back underway.
What will the second half bring us here? The Lions, can they find a way back in the game? Or will the Highlanders continue vein of form? Oh, what a pass! Straight out the back door, finding Itzabeth on the touchline. Wasn't really expecting it, but he got it anyway. Mullen, wide half forward, good passing here through the backs, finds Stowers! Stowers in some space, over the top to Osborne! Here we go! Here's a race for the corner! Joel and Osborne! But it is a simple finish! Osborne showing far too much speed! And he dots down for try number five. Well, that was a nice try. Stowers and Osborne combining that time in the midfield. After Stowers come off his wing, switch the play right to left. And then it was a speed race. Look at that. Joel was there. Couldn't catch Osborne. But that was all Stowers. Beautiful pass. What a spectacular ball. Chasing hard was Jess, the Englishman. Found his way of the Lions, but he's been unable to progress them any further. Osborne smoking them both for speed. And Robinson. Wow, has he found out how to kick from that halftime break? Probably couldn't have got any worse. Here he comes. That's a bit better. That's an easy two, how it should be. And his kicking percentage goes back on the rise. 31 points to seven. The Highlanders destroying the Lions. And here come some changes. The whole bench is being emptied out. Every single player. So I'm not going to name them all. You know who's on the bench. Got plenty of changes. Whole new front row. Tumanga Allen, Coltman coming on. As well as Tommy Afuna. Here's Brits kicking off. Pyle on the field as well. Same with more changes in the back of Rob Short. As the ball comes down for the Highlanders, back to the match as they spin it wide. The Lions turning over. Big number eight, Lomu. Finds a way through. Oh, it's turned over from Mowen. And Mowen has gone but Release. sideways there before finally going to ground. Now they come to the right. Holgaard, nice pass to Mangarella and over the top for Stowers. Stowers is busting. He's looking in field. He's found Nasimanu. Nasimanu tries to offload. Oh, he's got it away, but it's intercepted from Vaquin. And the Lions get the ball back. Short passing. Swart over the top. Yanti's good ball. Here's Delaport slipping through one. Now he looks in field. Nice run here from Mini. Strong runner. And he's Release. taken down just out the 22. Brits again, goes short, Bernocchi, oh, big hammering hit, now here's Hayes, Hayes gets in the 22, Release. Mowen tries to steal it off him, Brits again, short, finding Vaquin who tries to Release. charge through, Brits, oh, good ball to Yantes. opens up some initial space here, and through, goes one tackle of Jess, Release. Coltman not able to take him down, another short run, that time Coltman gets the damage, and it's been knocked on. Advantage over. The ball goes back for the Highlanders. And Hoggard fires it wide for Lau. Opening it up for Stowers. Oh, this is ambitious. Because Wesley Fofana's on the end of it. He's going to kick ahead. And now we've got a foot race. It's Fofana up against De Natale and Mini. But coming across is Jess. And Jess is hammered. Big Release. hit coming in from Wesley Fofana. And here comes his friends. They've turned it over. Wide it goes. Stowers straining. Can't get through. Fofana's involved. And he's intercepted it beautifully. Vaquin on hand. Get the ball back for the Lions. Looking to get out of their 22. They don't want to concede again. Brits is hammered. Huge shot Release. from Falau. And this might be ball back to the blue of the Highlanders. It is. Take that. Israel Folau doing the work. His big bend to Mifuna. Just five short. What a run from the big prop. The Highlanders oh, charge in after him but can't get the ball back. Here's Joel, the fullback, giving it to Hayes. And Hayes finds Kruger. Now they're keeping it alive on the tackle. Good work from Minnie. He's found De Natale out wide. And he's taken from Robshaw. But puts a miracle offload away. And it's there for Yantes. Who goes it back for Cochrane. The Irishman offloads again. Now Bernocchi finally gets taken down on halfway. Short. Once again, the big forwards trudging in there. Just over halfway now. They're going to put it tight. As Luke Lomu goes to Dean Atali once more. 
This is good work here, the Lions. Hayes. Cochran. Nice run from Cochran. He just about got through. Desperate tackle from Stowers as Brits goes left. Oh, nice hit there on Pack. And eventually it's picked up from Kluger. He Good finds advantage. his runner. Oh, advantage, Lions. Is that Tumanga Allen offside? Possibly could be. Brits will pass in the tackle to Yantes. And Yantes is hit high. Big tackle coming in. Wesley Fofana looks like he's in trouble. Here's Captain Ben Smith. And it's goodbye for Fofana. Claims his innocence. None there at all. 74 gone. It's 31-7. And yes, the Lions will tap it. Brits goes short to Mini. A good run there from the blindside flanker. They're in the 22 of the Highlanders now. Kruger. Di Natale finds it to Cochran. Oh, again, he makes the initial bust. Getting through Stowers, but Hoggard comes along over the top and smothers him into touch. Four to go. Highlanders ball in the line out in their 22. And both sides have shown. Oh no, it's turned over. So it will not be the Highlanders running it out. That's why they come. Yantes finds Delport over the top. Numbers here. One off. Oh, Jess is smashed. Huge tackle from Osborne. And we've known since we've had Osborne in the team how good he is defensively. Well, take another feather. That's just how good he is. Coltman will throw in. Pyle hits the mark. And Hoggard looked for the little gap. Changed his mind. Didn't want to get isolated. Robinson. Robinson's through the hole. Oh my goodness. Robinson's pumped that. He has smashed that into touch. And the Highlanders celebrate a well-earned victory. Well, I don't think Robinson was quite thinking to hammer that quite as hard into touch as he did. But nevertheless, that's where it's gone. The match has ended. And match one of this tour of South Africa... Ends in a convincing 31-7 victory. The whole bench has been cleaned out. The structure of the game broke down very much after that happened. But the Highlanders got the job done. 31-7. The Lions destroyed here at home by the Highlanders. Still undefeated. Five tries to one for the Lions. Dalport getting one beautiful try too. He really worked hard for that. And Yantes had no problem. Knocking over the conversion. As for the Highlanders, five tries going Nasi Manu, Patrick Osborne with a double. Was Ralph Falau and Sherwin Stowers getting one apiece. Robinson had a funny day off the boot. Luckily, it didn't matter too much. The three from five missed two very easy ones, but got some difficult ones as well. So a typical day at the office for Robbie Robinson. As for the stats, well, again, territory. I'm kind of surprised, but the Highlanders' tries did come mostly from their own half. So 40% territory for the Highlanders. 55% position, an entertaining match for the crowd, 11 line breaks to 2 and 8 handling errors to 4 both for the Highlanders high tackles, yellow card for Wesley Fofana, that's a bit disappointing, the Highlanders made a lot more tackles as well 60 to 41, so another 5 points in the bank for the Highlanders and they're off for their second match of the tour after disposing the Lions, let's see who we have next in the table with just a couple of matches left Few matches have been played out since that 31 to 7 victory over the Lions and we have the Sharks hammering the Bulls 41-13 the Stormers thrashing the Cheetahs 28-15 to round out round 18 we're into round 19 we've got a couple of games here just five matches this week and the Crusaders disposing of the Chiefs and the Blues back to their winning ways once again two weeks in a row now 26-5 over the Hurricanes so a lot of W matches going on here for the New Zealand sides that tees us up for match two of the tour it is the Cheetahs at home against the Highlanders back to the table and well you have to say here the Blues are doing things the hard way a couple losses but boy they're catching up on bonus points they've played the extra match as well from the Highlanders all New Zealand teams have played 15 except for the Highlanders and they only lead by one so looking at this table here, you can say the Highlanders and the Blues, 63 and 62 are guaranteed in the two of the playoffs. But it is third and fourth. The Highlanders just about double. Big points difference. Crusaders on 39, Hurricanes 36. So there's definitely a tussle going on there for possibly one of the uh, wildcard spots for one of those two sides. The Chiefs rounded out with 26. 
in, Australia, in South Africa it is we go first. The Sharks on 53 and we see straight away that the, well, all New Zealand sides are performing better than the second place South African team. That is amazing. The Cheetahs in second on 26. The same points as last in New Zealand. The Chiefs on 26 as well. The Stormers are on 23, Bulls 18, and the Lions still down there on 6, minus 257 points differential as well. In Australia, the Waratahs have won one little hiccup to the Blues, but they're still looking very strong. 66 points for them. The Reds at second on 43. They're probably qualified as well. The Brumbies 37, and it's going to be tight. The Western Force 21, and the Rebels on 11. So let's check out the schedule here. Just two matches to go. The Cheetahs at Free State Stadium. Then we return home for our final match of the round robin against the fifth place Chiefs side. So that's round 18. All set to go for us here. Action from Free State Stadium. The Highlanders in their second and final match of South Africa to face the Cheetahs. That one will be coming soon. Keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the career series. We're just about through another season. Can the Highlanders win yet another Super Rugby title. Stay tuned to find out, and I'll see you then. Take care.